guys did it. You actually did it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Look at him up there. And there's the banner. Yeah. 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 Well, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own two eyes. Chickens can fly. <laughs> Boy, I feel good, Sam. This is the greatest I've ever felt in my life. I'm thinking about doing something really crazy. Yeah, me too, Woody. I'm thinking about having sex. Sam, I think we're carrying this male bonding thing a little too far. <laughs> Not with me. I mean, Rebecca. How are you talking? No, oh, Woody. <laughs> Say, now that you've uh, seen all that skydiving, how do you feel about a evening of magic? Well, I have to admit, after seeing that tape, my body feels kind of tingly all over. Mm -hmm. Well, I think a very special evening with a very special skydiver could only enhance that feeling. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. Uh -huh. Hi, Rebecca, are you all ready to go? Oh, hi, Bob. I'll be with you in just one second. Bob? What about me? Bob didn't jump out of that plane. And Bob didn't blow chow at 5,000 feet. Bye, Sam. Camera in a competitor's establishment. Let's hear what they have to say about Gary's Bloody Marys. Boy, I don't know what's in that, but uh, Gary makes the best Bloody Mary I've ever tasted. Really? Gary deserves to win this contest every year. Thank you very much. And you'd be surprised what some people would do to get a hold of my Bloody Mary mix. Hey, I'd dress up like a hooker to get some of this stuff. But you can get a pretty good Bloody Mary just about anywhere in town, isn't that right? Cheers never made a Bloody Mary this good. If you say so, Sam Malone of Cheers. <laughs> Anybody know the way to Gary's? I'll give you a lift. <laughs> come here, come here, Woody, Woody, Woody. I got a plan. Listen up. Oh, shh. Gary had a camera in here the other day. He could have a spy in here now, and the whole place could be bugged. Come on, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. Don't take off in a clump like that. It'll look suspicious. Everybody split up. We'll hook up outside. No, no, no. You're clumping up again. Spread it out. Bartender, you more champagne? Sure. Maybe I'll get a tip too, Sam. Hey, right, just whoa, listen, this whining for dollars routine's mine. <laughs> anyway, I'll be summering in DC, God help me. Dad's favored me with the option of going up on the hill to page or being a clerk. So uh what do you think? Well, oh, excuse me for interrupting, but I'd go with the clerk job. I had a blast the summer I clerked at the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> I'm sure you did, but uh, I was talking about being a legal clerk. Oh, this was all on the up and up. <laughs> Are you always this obtuse? The cummerbund makes my waist look thick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thick. That's the word I was searching for. Write it on your hand, you'll never forget it. <laughs> Okay, Boyd, I'm here. Yeah, so am I. Of course, I'm always here, so it's no big deal. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't feel right beating you senseless unless I warn you in advance. I was on the boxing team at Princeton. Yeah? Well, while you're beating me senseless, keep this in mind. I was first alternate on the Hanover High boxing squad. What is that supposed to mean? It means if anybody got sick or hurt, I'd be the one. No. <laughs> I mean, is that supposed to make you a tough guy? Tough enough. Yeah, well, the proof is in the pudding. 
All right, that does it. Nobody says that to me. <laughs> Who wants to see a rich boy get his butt whooped? Hey, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I can't leave here. Well, if you're going to fight, go fight in the back. But remember, you got to bust your own blood. Let's go. Then the game ended early. So how'd you do? Coach had me on the bench all afternoon. What do you mean? You didn't play at all? Well, they finally put me in after the kid with the cast on his leg and the two fat girls left. <laughs> so what did you do? I hit the ball, but they still made fun of me. Like everybody's just supposed to know which way to run. <laughs> I'm gonna go clean up your specs. Yeah, Carl's got us a real point next to the end. Yeah, it's sad to say the kids uh, who aren't accepted by their peers really never learn how to get along with people in the big grown-up world. Why is that, Cliff? Because they keep boring everyone and driving them crazy with long speeches filled with meaningless statistics? Yep. Yeah, 63% of them live lives of quiet desperation. <laughs> and how about those who sit next to them? <laughs> I'm Dr. Fraser Crane, a friend of your father's. I understand you had a rough afternoon. You must never let the bullies of this world diminish your inner spirit, nor put out the fire of your competitive nature. Sir? Yes, sir. You're kneeling on some gum. <laughs> Heavens, my new gabardines. You and gum. He attracts it like a magnet. <laughs> we'll swing by our place and pick up another pair on our way to the opera. Which opera are we going to? De Meister Singer. Oh, I know that one. That's where all the master singers get together in Nuremberg and have a big contest to find out who's best. Oh, yeah, kind of like Star Search. <laughs> Basically. Fraser. <laughs> Congratulate the doctor. I'm doing a piece on the psychological ramifications of Ingmar Bergman's later works for American film. Oh, that's great, French. Yes, well, I'd like to read it to you to see if it's still accessible to the layman. May I have your opinion? Sure. Buy a new suit, get a haircut, and stay home. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Now, I call the piece Ingmar Bergman, Poet of the Subconscious. The films of Ingmar Bergman... Well, who could forget her in Casablanca, huh? <laughs> no, no. no you're, you're thinking of Ingrid Bergman. I'm talking about Ingmar Bergman. Ingmar Bergman, the boxer? <laughs> Oh, what are you, you're, you're thinking of Ingmar Johansson? You mean the guy who knocked out Floyd Patterson? No, no, no. Sonny Liston knocked out Patterson. Well, who knocked out Johansson? Patterson. Before Liston. No, Johansson knocked out Liston. Well, who knocked out Patterson? Was it Ingrid Bergman? <laughs> no. Ingrid Bergman... Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> now, one more word. We came in here to discuss Ingmar Bergman, not to start a Abbott and Costello routine. <laughs> Actually, I thought it was more like Martin and Lewis, wasn't it? Your name Joe Lewis? Oh, uh, he's the one who knocked out Floyd Patterson. <laughs> and who knocked out Lou Costello? <laughs> apparently, Ingrid Bergman. Well, she was tougher than she looked. <laughs>